Hey guys, it's Danny. Today I'm gonna show you the cute little soccer mini greenhouse that you can find at IKEA. I did show you my setup in a previous video and some of you really, really wanted to see a video about this item. I'm gonna show you how I use it, how I assemble it and why I use it. It is very, very cute. It is such a beautiful decorative piece, but also it has functionality, at least for me. So yeah, why not? Let's talk about it because I think it's really, really cute. Before we start though, don't forget to give this video a like if you end up enjoying it because it really helps it out. And why not subscribe? I post multiple times a week, all sorts of planned content. Right, so let us unbox this. I forgot how to. <laughs> it is not hard to assemble, but it does have a very annoying feature that I'm gonna show you in a second. But like, it takes 10 minutes to assemble or less. Ta-da, here we go. So these will be the roof and the side panels. These are the front and back panels. Do we see they're a little milky? Yeah, they have a film that protects the plexiglass, which is so annoying to remove. You're gonna see, that's its downfall. <laughs> And of course, here we have instructions. You don't actually need any screwdrivers or screws or anything for this, because everything just kind of fits into each other. And the bottom tray, and that is it. Let's put the box away. Okay, so first thing that I'm gonna do is actually remove this protective film. Maybe I'm in luck, maybe it's gonna be easier to remove because I see the corners are already a little bit lifted. On the previous one that I assembled, some of these corners were not lifted at all and they were going like inside this frame. It was so hard to reach them. I tried to pull, but the plastic got broken. So I had bits just hanging, which was not good. So I see on this side, I have a corner to pull on it as well. The previous one did not. I, I don't know how I managed to remove them. I did at some point, but it wasn't easy. So let's remove this film. This is the one with the problem. So on this side, I do see there is a corner lifted, but I cannot get to it because of this bar. So what you need to do to get it is either use a pair of tweezers to get under this or remove the entire panel. On the other one that I had, I couldn't remove the panel. On this one, I see that I can. Hopefully I'm not gonna break anything. Yeah, I can remove it. Wow, much easier. On the other one, I could not remove the panel at all. So I had to reach this plastic with a pair of tweezers. So let's put it back. They're pretty flexible. They're not that hard to bend back. Okay, so thankfully that one was easy. My first one was not. These on the other hand, they are very easy to remove. Just bend the little leg, remove the glass. Ta-da! All right, so let's see if I can assemble this gracefully on camera. It's not hard, it's just not graceful. That's a good description of it. First of all, we need to place these two panels on the sides of the bottom tray and stabilize them with this metal thing on top. Please don't fall. This is why I told you it's not graceful to do on camera. I'm gonna give this another go. If it doesn't work out, I'm just gonna assemble it off camera. But let's see. Okay, so it actually worked out. <laughs> what you need to do is kind of press it against your body just to make sure that it sits in place. We'll do the same for the other side and we should be done. It's the one that I bent. <laughs> Aha, went in. I think we are good. Alrighty, ta-da, we are done. Slightly wobbly and also careful because the tray is not connected to the whole unit. As long as you're not moving it around anywhere, I think it should be good, <laughs> right? So now let's decorate it with some more kits. All right, so the whole purpose of this, for me at least, is to create a space that is a little bit more protected from pests. And of course, I have the top of my rootstock cabinets empty. I also have my Gemma Grow lights that I'm not using, just sitting around. So what I did is create a little bit of a growing space, let's say, 
on top of my rootstock cabinets, which also looks very, very good. One thing that I really like is the color rendition of the Gemma lights. I wouldn't put it everywhere in the grow space, but in specific places, I totally 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 do because it's beautiful and you'll see i'm gonna show you so i'm gonna put here orchids that i really don't wanna just spray way too often phalaenopsis are one of those orchids this is one that i'm trying to recoup for a lot of time it's finally doing well phalaenopsis brother glory imagine if it starts to have thrips at some point this beautiful foliage all eaten by thrips no not gonna happen this is a phalaenopsis pulcherima it is the 4n i had it before i lost it it actually had a crown issue i just repurchased it together with the cymbidiella and i want to make sure that it's not gonna get attacked by pests or anything so since it doesn't really require tons of light she can do well here protected under the gemma light and basically orchids that i just want to protect and i know that they are not very high light plants can you offer more light absolutely this is just a mini greenhouse transparent so whatever amount of light you want to put in here maybe a bright window that is absolutely fine so i'm just going to go ahead and put a few more orchids here that i do want to protect and i'm going to show you the actual setup the location of it and show you how good it actually looks and here we are, this is the setup. On top we have some IKEA lamps with the Gemma bulbs giving this nice purpley color, which is not very, very purple. It's actually white bluish in reality, but on camera it looks pretty bad. <laughs> it's actually much better. And inside I just added this Phalaenopsis money, which arrived with some, how do I film this? <laughs> some purple patches, do we see? I think she looks stunning. Now this is a result of very high light or some temperatures. I think it's okay and this orchid is known to have some spots from time to time. As long as they're purple and not black, it's okay. She looks very nice. I have a jewel orchid, a Makotis here and the other two orchids that I placed. And I think it looks absolutely amazing. I have a use for my Gemma lights now and also I am more protective with these orchids. This is my other one. Yes, I can put more orchids in, but I will reserve the spaces for those orchids, which I know can do quite well. And in the other greenhouse, I can put some Lechuza self-watering pots, like in this one. Anyway, I'm gonna play around with it, but it just looks so, so nice, I have to say. It's not very, very heavy. I don't wanna put anything heavy on the rootstock cabinets. And it really is just a break of color from the other grow lights, which have a totally different color. It actually looks like a rainbow of colors now. I really like it. So yeah, these are the IKEA mini greenhouses. One thing you should know is that they do not retain a lot of humidity in. Can we see the seams? They're quite large. So if you wanna make this retain humidity, you would have to make this airtight. You can get some weather roll. I don't know if I have any at hand. It is something that you can glue to the window and it has an acrylic or actually a silicone maybe edge. So you can cover all of these seams if you want to create a proper greenhouse effect in here. But that's not why I use this. I don't need it for humidity. Will it retain more humidity than outside? Really doubtful. I did an experiment once and I discovered that the Rutsta, Millsbo, all of these cabinets that are not weathered really kind of have the same humidity as the ambiental, as the outside. So I wouldn't bother if you don't want to weather them or seal the seams and you're expecting higher humidity. No, this is just decoration and maybe protection against pests. Obviously it is not full protection. Pests can still get in there, but it will offer a little bit more protection. I talk about it in a short. I'll link it to down below if you want. And it just looks good pretty much. That's kind of all I wanted from it. An enclosure, that looks good. Oh, righty, so that's about it. Very nice decorative product. I recommend it. It is very flimsy. Don't expect super high quality. Don't expect high humidity, but it looks darling. It actually does. And coupled with some grow lights from above, it is gorgeous. And hey, if anything, it protects the orchids from dust. You won't have to dust them very often, right? Alrighty, so thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know in a comment how do you use these greenhouses. I've seen people do all sorts of very creative things with them. They literally transformed everything in a terrarium. I don't want to necessarily do that because this is metal, it will rust. So 
I need to seal it, I need to put probably some bags. It's a little more complicated for me, but I like to watch other people <laughs> create beautiful masterpieces. So let me know. So if you want to follow me on social media, search for me. I'm at Miss Orchid Girl pretty much everywhere. Check out my shorts channel for short form content. But most importantly, do subscribe to this channel since I post every single week, three times a week on this channel. So with that said, I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.